Hi everybody. For the past two weeks I've been at the University of Newcastle uh, teaching a couple of occupancy modelling workshops. And one of the topics that we, we spend a bit of time covering is how to include covariates in our design matrices uh, in the software presence. And so just to give a quick video tip about how we can do that. Uh, my first key tip is that make sure you always have at least one one in each row of the design matrix. So what those design matrices are doing is just creating a series of logistic regression equations that relate our sort of parameter of interest, so occupancy or detection, um, to this covariates that we're interested in as well. And so the key is that we, we generally want to have an intercept term. So unless you really know what you're doing, uh, I suggest that you always have at least one one along each row of the design matrix uh, when we're including covariates. And even when we're not actually, we still want to probably have a, a one in there as well. My other second tip is related to categorical covariates. So suppose you've got a habitat type and you've measured that as three different categories, sort of A, B and C. Uh, we weren't trying to include habitat type as a covariate in our design matrices. We need to define a series of indicator variables. So what an indicator variable is, is that it equals one if it is that habitat type of interest and a zero if it's not. So we want to create those indicator variables and then the number of indicator variables we include in our design matrix is one less than the number of categories that we have, plus we have the intercept term. So for example, with our habitat type, we'll define three indicator variables, one for each of habitat type A, B, and C. And then in an analysis in our design matrix, we want to have a, an intercept term and then two of the three uh, indicator variables. Doesn't really matter which two it is, but to, any two of those three uh, will work and the one that's not in there, the category that's not included in the design matrix, uh, that is our sort of reference or standard category that we are comparing the other habitat types to, in this case. So there you have it, I hope you found that useful. So quick tip with covariates, always include an intercept term, so at least one one along each row of a design matrix, and when we have those categorical covariates, create a series of indicator variables and include the one less than the number of categories, that's how many indicator variables to include. Radio. Hope you found that useful. Until next time, see ya.